Yes. Uh, have you heard about uh, the Tiger Zord Epion Death Battle? Uh, someone asked me about that. I haven't seen it, but uh, I know it's I know it's been out there. So, so yeah, I, I haven't seen it. It's pretty funny. Francis, Francis. Do you have some stuff to do? Put my hands in my mouth and all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I haven't seen that one. I heard it's 30 minutes, so when I heard it's 30 minutes long, I, just don't, want, I don't want to spend time watching it for 30 minutes. I like that and Sun's eight minutes in and out, bang. You know, well, done. <laughs> you do get plenty of entertainment value, you but do. just a heads up, they do, have, they do swear a lot. So they do. They do. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that they swear. I heard it's 30 minutes. Did I, did I lose? Uh, do you really want to know? Yeah. Uh. Yes, but technically Epion cheated. Yeah. He has. Uh, that's why it's on TV. It was real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a he has a computer that can predict the future, so that's why tigers are lost. That's a cheater. What a cheater! That's like you're fighting in a fight going on. He's in left with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Matrix. <laughs> Hold on, let me predict the future right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to win CM Punk. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's really not cheating, it's just called training. You know what I mean? But, uh, I need to say hi to you. I know, I'm waiting. Yeah. Wait, my phone goes. See him? No. <laughs> so, um, I saw a picture a little while back of you and like a silver uh, Dino Charger costume. Is that, are you actually going to be in it? No, that was like an April Fool's thing. So okay. Yeah. So we made like an April Fool's thing, and it just spread like all over the place. But then Link's in it, Austin's in it, so they just use that as a stock photo and just drop it. Oh, okay. I think, so I think you have one of you, right? I saw one of Yeah. Uh, when is Aaron going to release the Ryu versus Green Ranger? Ryu versus Green Ranger? Will we release? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> simple simple explanation for that. It's a very, it's a very I wouldn't say complex, but we're taking our time on that one because of all the revision lines. It's going to be, it's going to be uh, when that drops. Uh, it's going to be very hard to compare anything with it because the suits have been revamped. People are making toys. People are cosplaying now on it. So no matter what happens, even with the revision of the movie or if I return as the Green Ranger or whatever, I don't know how it's going to happen. But I've been branding myself the whole time. Like now with this whole revision of the White Ranger thing, people love that. Now with the Green Ranger, people already get cosplay costumes. And I like it. Someone's making toys. I think it looks dope. And the fight scenes are really good. Really good. Because we're able to monitor it all. The people I've worked on, Alvin and Peter and Aaron. You'll see, man. We'll see it. It's just going to be like, you're going to remember it. You know? And it's going to be hard. I just think it's going to be hard for someone to, to top that. Because mm -hmm. sometimes those small, you know, things that when you let a fan in charge of it, then they'll give you what you want. But when the studio's in charge, they don't know who you are and what the, the franchise is about. That's why, that's how sometimes things get ruined. Yeah. My opinion is if I was gonna relaunch or re-envision, I'd probably hire nothing but the whole cast of crew of Power Ranger fans who could do the costumes, who know this character, that know it, it just will make an awesome movie. Mm -hmm. But they, they get other people that don't really know what they're doing, that's the problem. You know, like the director's gotta read the, he's gotta study everything. Like if you had someone that knew everything, you don't need to study to stay busy. That's what Aaron does. Just keep busy with what we want to see, what he wants to see. Because he's a fan too. So he imagined, like, I wonder what I would want to see. And he'd be like, yeah, I, I thought it was awesome. It's pretty cool. So, yes. How long does it uh, normally take you to film something like Bat in the Sun? Or, oh, that's, dude, Bat in the Sun is so quick, man. Like, um, White Ranger versus Scorpion. I'll tell you the Power Ranger movie we shot, um, I want to say like 90 days or 100 days or 20 days. Bat the Sun did the White Ranger, Green Ranger, uh, White Ranger versus Scorpion in like three days. So, so it's so just like... It, because it, we don't have to cut through all the BS. Like in Hollywood, you, when you have a movie and you have a big movie, like if you were doing hair, for example, right, and I asked you to fix my thing, you can't because that's his department. And then if I ask you for this, like, I can't technically do it. I was like, dude, just do it. You're like, that's not my department. So everyone has an department, and the money just, you know. That's why actors get spoiled all the time. They, they have standings. You don't have to do anything. For me, I'm not like that. Because, like, you know, being with ADD, I can't just sit on my table. I got my hands in or something. But, uh, but, yeah, it's a lot of money, and a lot of a lot of time when you're shooting, it's, you know, you set your lights, and then you're adjusting, and hit the marks, and bat the sun, they just, boom, 
they know what, it, what it's like. We'll get in the marks, one take, pop, pop, bam, good cut, go on to the next one. So nice. production value even on the Taste Cat and then the Operation Black Unicorn with um, John Morrison's coming out. Uh, and we filmed that and it was just like, I, I, I got to say half the reason on a production like that is because we're all there for the same reason. A lot of times when we work on movies, actors are hired, they might not like what they do. I'm not saying power, but something in general. They might be eh, it's a job. So their it's job is only technically do there, go go back and I'll be in my room when you need me. But everyone on Bat the Sun or small productions are very excited about it. Even the actors, wow, that was awesome. Let's do it one more time, you know? So that's what makes a difference on an independent project. Because me and Johnny are going to do a film together. We talked about Johnny Washington. Well, that's why he was there. Last night about it, and we're definitely doing it because we always say we're going to do it. But now that we've worked together, we brought him in for some back to some stuff, and we just want to, as we know how to film what works and get the people involved, like even fans that want to uh, inspire to do stuff like that. That's what we look at. We look at people that are coming up, you know, like coming up stuntmen. People want to do that stuff. It's not the easiest thing to break into Hollywood to be like. I mean, but it is. I would say it's easier if your mind is not on your goal, your mind is on the work that you do today. For example, you can't, all these people and all the other stuff that's been out there, made force and every, everyone's been offered the same deals. And I don't mean to say that over and over, but we are. I just look at the bigger picture. Bat in the Sun, I did it for free with the White Ranger versus Green Ranger, right? I did it free because I want to give my fans something they can really look forward to. I flew to LA, I put up my hotel, I paid for everything because I wanted to be in the costume and give you guys something to look forward to because I see the bigger picture is to make people happy, people are excited about it. A lot of people don't, they see for right now, like if I ask you guys, hey, you guys want to film a movie? Half of y'all, yeah, I'll do it. And this half, well, how much am I going to get paid? I'll be like, I can't deal with that right now, man. We're not talking about that. Let's, let's all make the film that we, and then afterwards, people can enjoy what they want. So that, that's kind of how I've always worked in you know, Power Rangers and with anything. Speaking of megaports, how'd you like uh, how uh, the Legendary War episodes turned out? Uh, I was actually happy the way it did because it's going to steer people to the Green Ranger versus Ryu. And because I didn't fight and I didn't sweat, we saved it all for the Green Ranger versus Ryu. You know, if yeah. I had that, I would, I would be really probably disappointed that the, they, didn't, they cut a lot of Japanese footage out and the Green Ranger wasn't even fighting. And it was like, to me, like leaving it and all, it just a little disappointed, but then I was very happy when that didn't happen, because it was like, I wanted to see a fight, I'm like, don't worry, Green Ranger versus Ryu. It's gonna make up for every past fighting scene ever, and even the future fighting scenes. We did amazing stuff on it, so, that was okay to be in it, I think it was a little fast. They, 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 they rushed like one episode into like this whole epic 20 year reunion thing that, that could have been really good, and they probably could have got more people involved if they did longer episodes, like say a three parter maybe some of the other ranges would have came back and they could have fit them. Because you have to remember, how are we going to fit like 20, if all the rangers came back, I mean, I mean, some of them don't even have lines, so what, if, what are they going to be, like a quick shot? So they should have spent a little bit more time, milked it out for three episodes and really gave it. That's just my opinion. But I, didn't th I think they underestimated the power of the fans. Like they did this episode, like, oh, it's just going to be a little thing. And everyone's just, you know, talking about it and then movies and all that stuff. I'm just glad I stayed with Power Rangers for so long doing Dino Thunder and trying to bring the ratings up. I've never left the franchise. I've always embraced who I am and it's great now because seeing that loyalty through the years and now it's a big launch again into you know, Lions Gate and to all this other stuff. They know sincerely I'm there from here, not for well, I want to be involved. It's like I've been involved. So that's what keeps me on top of the chain of things is the loyalty into the franchise, I guess.